It's fall time. And now I got these fun little googly eyes. Did you see them? Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio. And today I am going to react to some cake fails. Now you may be asking yourself, what makes this lady qualified to judge other people's cakes? Well, I have been making cakes for almost a decade now. And let me tell you, I have made tons of mistakes. I've had so many cake fails myself that I think I have failed in every way possible. And I can relate. I can relate more than you could even imagine. But uh, you can't have cake wins without cake fails. So let's get to the cake fails. All right, the first cake. <laughs> that dog is adorable. And to be fair, the cake looks like the dog in a, you know, in a way, in like a blobby little way. He's even got a little bone, I think. Or that's a paw, maybe, I don't know. No, I think that's a bone. He had his little spike. <laughs> he has spiky hair. Oh, man. Now, I don't know for sure, but it looks like somebody was just giving this a go. Probably not somebody who works in a bakery. Uh, it's probably just somebody playing around at home. <laughs> That's my guess. The one thing that I would change about this, <laughs> the one thing is probably the mouth. I feel like you got that pink, like kind of lip looking area and it's just like kind of human looking. It's kind of creeping me out a little bit because the real dog doesn't have that. He's got black lips, real tiny little mouth, very cute. I also wanna point out that the cake artist used a star tip. So a star tip is what gives the piping that texture. So it's got those little ripples. You know what, let's rate these cakes. I'm gonna do some rating. So one out of 10, this puppy cake is about a two. I'm gonna give it a two because in a way, it kind of looks like the dog in the picture. So <laughs> that's a win. That dog's cute. Man, I want that dog. All right, let's move on to the next. You know what? <laughs> Baby Yoda. <laughs> the candles in the head are really funny. <laughs> I have made a Baby Yoda cake. So I know exactly what goes into making a Baby Yoda cake. And this is, this is looking like Baby Yoda. The nose is right in the center. And that's something that a lot of people get wrong. Like a lot of times when it comes to Baby Yoda, they put the nose too low. Cause on human faces, we have our eyes and then our nose is in the middle. But on Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda's nose is almost like directly between uh, his eyes. So they got that right. That's, that's actually really impressive. The more I look at it, the cuter it gets. Like, it's really cute. <laughs> I like it. One out of 10, this cake's definitely getting, I like how I said definite, even though I'm not sure of the number. It's definitely about a, a four, a three and a half to four. And you wanna know why? Because it looks like Baby Yoda. Now, yeah, it could be a little cleaner, but at the end of the day, you just want the cake to look like the thing, right? That's a, it's an important part. And it looks like Baby Yoda. All right, on to the next. That is Cinderella. <laughs> oh, okay. Right off the bat, the eyes are kind of what's like, woo, really looking at you. And maybe the nostrils are a little bit looking at you too. A lot of times when people make sculptures, they tend to uh, forget that your eyelids kind of cover part of uh, the iris. So like if I'm just, I'm not like this necessarily, most people aren't, some are, but most people aren't like this. Most uh, of the time, <laughs> your eyelid covers most of your eye. So it's just that little like sliver of eye. And um, this one's like real wide, really, really wide. So I think that's why it's a little jarring. 
I will say that it looks like this person actually used a stencil because the proportions are correct. The dress section with her kind of like doing this move with her shoulder up and then the size of the face, that's all accurate. Even her hair looks great. Hey, it's Cinderella. Maybe because Disney embedded like, you know, all that Disney characters in my brain long, long, long ago, but it's Cinderella. I'm giving this cake one out of 10. It's getting a four. And that's because the proportions are actually pretty decent. There's just a few things to work on, mostly uh, the facial features. All right, on to the next. Hey, all right. This is not, this is not a fail. This is looking good. The shape is there and the buttons all look really great. The issue uh, that's maybe like a, a little bit off proportions. It's probably the hardest thing to capture. Uh, and the actual cake itself is pretty large compared to those buttons. Those buttons are real tiny. Uh, I think they're actually life size. The shape of the controller is definitely there and the buttons look really good too. I bet Sean, 29 year old Sean is very happy with this cake. This baby's getting a six, pretty good. All right, what's next? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't know, I have feelings. I don't know what they are yet though. I love this cake. Okay, so this is clearly some kind of artistic interpretation of Pikachu. <laughs> and I really like it. It's so weird. And I love that about cakes. Like if you can get a reaction, whether it's good or bad, I think that's great. That's, that's a win in my book. I just, I think that it has its own style. And sometimes a style, it doesn't have to replicate something perfectly. It can be strange and just unique and very entertaining. And at the end of the day, all we're trying to do here is entertain, right? If there were a bunch of these in this same style, like lined up, just like, we've got all the Pokemon like in front of us lined up and they're all looking in that style, I, I would like it. I couldn't even tell you really what this is made of. It looks like it's buttercream and not fondant. I don't, I don't know that I trust that this is actually a cake. <laughs> it looks like paper mache to me. You know, I'm just gonna trust that it's a cake. So this Pikachu cake, I'm in love with it. It's weird, I'm into it. I gotta give it an eight. That's pretty good. That's good. Definitely an eight out of 10. Check out this mug. This is a Side Surf Cake Studio mug. You can get one too at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. And if you're left-handed, images on both sides. And get your own. On to the next cake. This like looks familiar. I have no idea how in what world I would have seen this, but something about it is very familiar. How I, I feel like this is from something. I can't stop looking at it. It's really. Ooh. I feel like it's an Easter cake of a lamb, which is an Easter type thing, lamb cakes. Um, <laughs> this one would be wild to bring, to uh, present to your family on Easter. But you know, maybe. It depends on your family. My family's pretty funny. They might find it funny. I don't know. Those teeth, those eyes, the just elongated face, the fact that the bunny ears are like a prop on, <laughs> on the lamb, I, I'm really into it. <laughs> and look at those bottom eyelids. I appreciate the fact that they included those eyelids there. That mouth is so good though. Do you see how it even has those little like cheek marks that you get when you smile? Like this is done really well. I don't know how to feel. Mm. 
six and a half out of 10. Honestly, it's really well done. You just have to accept the lamb for what it is, a horrifying lamb-shaped cake. And finally, the last cake. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All our favorite superheroes. <sighs> nobody, nobody has nipples. I just don't understand why they don't have clothes on. Like they have full on costumes normally. Why are they all in tiny undies? This looks like it's the cover of a specific kind of movie that maybe exists in the world. Made as a cake. feeling that somebody out there in the world went to a grocery store and had an image of this and handed it to the bakery department and said, can you copy this? And they said, yes. I got to rate this one. I'm not sure. I'm, this one's hard. This one's really hard to critique. Three and a half. Now this video is a little bit of a different style video than my typical videos. Uh, if you like it, let me know and I'll make you some more. Um, in addition to my typical videos, of course. And remember, you can't have a cake win without a cake fail. I'll see you Monday for a brand new video.